Hi folks, it's Mike with GetMyTips.com with a very easy beef roast recipe. In fact, this recipe only has one, two, three, four ingredients. It has beef bullion cubes, it has mushrooms, it has onions, and it has the roast itself. Okay, the first thing we want to do, we'll set this beef off to the side. We will take our onions and set them to the side. And actually, I think we'll cut the onions first. Let's do that. Now, this seems like an awful lot of onion for a small roast, but when this is all done, trust me, you will not have too much onion left over. And besides, you need the onion to help flavor the roast. The onion slices can almost not be too big. And of course that cuts down on prep time. Makes it easy. Set that there. Set that there. Let's get this here. I'm swipe these off here. Okay. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bullion cubes. We're going to take two cubes. We're going to put them in a bag, a Ziploc bag will work and then we're going to smash them. And we want to thoroughly smash them. Now, part way through, if you want, you can pull out the packaging for that. Shake it good. You certainly don't want any of that. What appears to be aluminum in our roast, so we will smash it down really good. That's it. Now, we'll take the pan, and if you want, you can use aluminum foil for this recipe. If you don't have a nice Dutch oven like this, this is a half size, and we'll spread that out on the bottom of the pan thoroughly. Then we'll take our roast, and we'll put that right there, just like that. Then we'll take our other two bouillon cubes and we'll smash them. Pull out the wrapper. And smack them around. Set that back here. And we will sprinkle this into our hand so that we can put it across the top of the roast thoroughly. Now I don't recommend that you use any kind of salt. Normally you would add a lot of salt to a roast, but trust me when I tell you there's enough sodium in this bouillon cube. You don't need to add any more salt. Now we'll take the onion, spread it out a little bit, put it across here, And then, finally, we will take our mushrooms. This is two cans of mushrooms. You could use one big can if you wanted. And we'll sprinkle those in there. Okay, we're going to put this roast in the oven for four hours at 250 degrees. I personally think that low and slow is the best way to go. But if you're in a hurry, you can always set your oven for 350 degrees for three hours. Okay, it's been four hours. Let's take this out of the oven and see how it looks. All right, let's open her up and see how it looks. That's a great thing about having granite. You can put a pot on it that's hot. Oh, look at that. Let's see how tender the meat is. Oh, yes. Very good. Flakes right off. Look at that. Okay. Now let's remove the meat from the pan and set it to the side so that we can... Oh, 
falling apart on us here, as you might expect. We can make some nice gravy. Mm -mm -mm. Those extra mushrooms in there won't make any difference. Here I've taken a half a cup of cold water and two tablespoons of flour, just basic all-purpose flour. I'm going to make a little gravy. We'll put that in and we'll stir it up. It doesn't take very long, but it's very important that you put cold water in the container first and then you put the flour on top of the cold water. Mix it up thoroughly and look at that. Just about instant gravy. We'll turn the flame down. In fact, we could probably turn it off at this point. Now to class up this flavor just a little bit, we're going to add some sweet vermouth. Now sweet vermouth, of course, is simply wine. And you can take and add a little bit. And really, really add to the flavor. Well there you have it folks, my easy pot roast recipe with only four ingredients and one of those is the meat. For more great tips like this visit our website at getmytips.com and also you might want to sign up for our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook. I have had a lot of requests for a tour of the kitchen and yes this is my home kitchen so in the future, I'm going to do a video of the kitchen. If you sign up for our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook, then of course you'll be notified as soon as the video is posted. Thanks.